Hi, this is Dave with WoodHeatStoves.com here to help you figure out and identify which model of Whitfield's pellet stove you have. We get a lot of confusion over the fact that there are five or six models called the WP2 Advantage. In this case, the label is located underneath the hopper lid, but it can also be located on the back of the stove and on the side of the stove behind your surround panels if you have an insert. So here you see model WP2 Advantage. If you look over here, the number following WH is the serial number. WH stands for Warnock Hersey. It was the testing laboratory that tested this stove. And the serial number is 8420. So we'll look, look for that on the price list. Okay, so now we know we have a Whitfield WP2 Advantage with a serial number of 8420. How do we figure out if it's a Whitfield Advantage 1, 2, 2T, 3, or 2T Classic? Well, we'll start out by going to our self-service guide and getting our free parts list by clicking here on the parts list link and again here on pellet stove parts lists. We're looking at the Whitfield older pellet stove parts, so I'll click here and then I'll click this big bold link to download now. So I'm not sure which model I have. I'll start scrolling down through it. First model listed is the Advantage 1, serial numbers 1000 through 7400. So that's not going to be it. Scroll down. All right, here we have the Advantage 2. Um, oh, and this looks like the proper serial number range, 7401 to 18144. So this would be the list of parts we'd want to work off of for this stove. For example, if we uh, were looking for an auger motor, we'd go down here, just copy and paste this part number right into our website search box. Okay, here we have another Whitfield Advantage called a WP2. The serial number is 43824. It's a much higher serial number range. Luckily they use a lot of the same parts, but there are parts, particularly electronic components, that are different between the WP2s. So figuring out exactly which version of the WP2 you have is important in a lot of cases. Okay, and to figure out which WP2 we have for serial number 43824, go back to our parts list. We'll scroll down. It's not the Advantage 1. Based on looking at the list previously, it's not the Advantage 2. Its serial numbers ended at 18144. Scrolling down the list. Okay, serial numbers 18,145 and up, Advantage 2T and 3. Notice both of them are still called the WP2. It makes it very confusing. And the next one starts at serial number 75,864. See the Advantage 2T Classic is also called a WP2. So deductive reasoning would indicate we have an Advantage 2T or 3. Serial number is 18,000 to 75,000 approximately. The other option that a few of the Whitfields had was a sticker on the back of the appliance. In this case it's a Prodigy WP3. Um, because it's on the back of the stove, these can be some of the more difficult labels to find. I recommend a flashlight and inspection mirror, so you don't necessarily have to remove the chimney pipe and pull the stove out from the wall to identify it. Okay, so now we've confirmed we have the Prodigy WP3. There it is on the parts list. So I'll go to page 29. And for the purpose of the video, I'm going to assume uh, that the stove is starting up, running for 5 to 10 minutes, and then shutting off, which is a pretty typical symptom of a low limit disk being bad. So I'll copy and paste the part number right off the parts list, go back to the website, and paste it into the search box. 
And here it brings up Whitfield pellet stove, low limit switch, 140 degree ceramic. We confirm by checking the picture, looks the same. We could also confirm by watching the video, lots of details about the particular disc and product in there. And here we have all of the models it fits. Right here we have the Prodigy WP3. So this would be the proper snap disc for our stove and lots of others. So at this point, if you had additional questions, you could use the Contact Us link located on every web page to send us an email. You put your name, email address, and message here, and then click the Send button. We'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks for taking the time to watch the video.